Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. Did that situation occur? Well, there is some, uh, it's up in less. Uh, Mr. Donis, it's a yes or no. Did that situation occur? No, unless they're going to submit a, a complete. Uh, Mr. Donis, did that situation that I just highlighted occur? I'm giving you another opportunity. Okay, thank you. Uh, yeah. That's correct. Yeah. Senator Frank Uggen Jr. was not backing down until he got some answers from members of the Guam Contractors Licensing Board. Today, the committee chair on infrastructure grilled members, including Director Eduardo Ordonez. Uggen explicitly and repeatedly tells the board that the law is on their side, but they cannot be afforded the protections of the law if they are not following the rules. On those kind of mistakes, I don't want to be happy. From now on, everything will be go on by law. Thank you. You're saying from now on, everything is going to go by the law? Yes, sir. Mr. Director Adonis. Like I said, the law is on your side yes, yes, as long as you're following it. Throughout the hearing, Uggen brings up several situations that have warranted multiple complaints, with some being forwarded to the Attorney General's office. In recent weeks, several issues have come to light, including the issuance of contracting license IDs to unqualified individuals. Additionally, Uggen asked about the handling of investigations by the board, bringing up a scenario where a complaint was filed in 2009, but addressed by the board in 2015, six years later, only to be unduly dropped without due process. Uggen fired off again with another situation involving someone who failed the interview process and was subsequently denied taking the examination. But Uggen says somehow the same individual was able to circumvent the system, coming back two years later and taking the examination without going through an interview. If there's any validity from a, an outside entity, the Office of the Attorney General, on some of the situations, he's going to come right back to this very table right here. Yeah. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Valerie Maige. Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.